Everywhere we look, we see good gifts that God has given us, like friends and family, people who help us, and yummy food, like donuts. But do not forget to thank God, because God is good. You see, sometimes we get so excited about the gift that we forget to remember the giver. So this month, we will take some time to look around at the wonderful gifts God has given us and teach our preschoolers that God is good. We'll begin in week one by talking about how we can thank God because God is good. When we look around at all of the good things in the world, the first thing we should do is say, thank you, God, because every good and perfect gift is from God. And this obviously includes donuts. Week two, we will hear the story of how a widow used her last bit of food to feed the prophet Elijah. And then, just as Elijah said God would do, God made sure the widow had enough food for herself, her son, and Elijah to eat. Through this story, we see that God is present. God is faithful. God is provider. God is good. Week three, we get to see how God gives us friends and family. One time, the Israelites were attacked, and as long as Moses held his hands up, the Israelites would win. But Moses became so tired, he couldn't keep his hands up any longer. Thankfully, his brother Aaron and their friend Hur helped Moses when he needed it most. God gave Moses friends and family to help him, because God is good. We will end the month in week four with a man named Nehemiah. Nehemiah wanted to rebuild the city wall that went all around his home city of Jerusalem, but it was just too big of a job for one person. Thankfully, Nehemiah didn't have to fix the wall all by himself. God gave Nehemiah all kinds of people to help him because God is good. We want our preschoolers to know that God is good and that all of the good things they see in the world, food, family, friends, people who help them, even donuts, are good gifts from a very good God who loves them. And we can say, thank you, God.